Senator Scott, you're recognized. Thank you, Chairman. First off, I want to thank everybody for your hard work. Um, the we have National Guards, National Guard up here. We've had them, I guess, since around the 6th. Can you all tell us how you made the decision to bring the National Guard here, each of you, if, to the extent you're involved or if you're not involved, how the decision was made? That's the, the National Guard presence we have here now. So not as a result of the, uh, the riot, but the National Guard has put up the fencing and, and all that. Okay, so that, was, that began to be developed uh, the evening of the 6th. When we made the request, we got the National Guard in. We started looking to the future, what was, going to be, what was going to be next. We started talking about bringing in the first section of global fencing, which basically went right around Capitol Square, which is Constitution and Independence first to first. Uh, we got that, that in place, and we started looking at what necessary National Guard uh, resources working with uh, the National Guard representative. So that was developed with um, Capitol Police, uh, working with, you know, uh, I believe, Sergeant Arms at the time, in the evening, going into the, into the 7th, uh, that we developed that. Okay. Were you the only one involved, or were the sergeant at arms involved? I, I, I believe so. I'd have to go back and, and, and pull that information. We were working on a number of different uh, aspects of it at the time, but I had my general counsel as well as our operations people working on the request and the coordination with the National Guard. And what was the, what was the purpose of the original um, the National Guard that came and put up the fencing? What was the, re, what was the rationale? What was the threat assessment? So when, just to make sure I understand, you're talking about the National Guard that came on the 6th? No, the, the presence that stayed after. Oh, the one that stayed after. Um, so what was the, the, the threat what was assessment? The, what was the threat assessment and, and why, why was it set up that they would be here for, you know, it seems like now months on end? Well, again, beyond, you know, uh, the 8th, uh, again, you know, my, my departure date was the 8th, so the information I have is up until the 8th. Uh, it was based, they were putting them in place based on the mass insurrection that we had on the 6th. Uh, I wasn't aware of any additional in, in, intelligence at that point. They were just concerned about possible um, uh, violent extremists regrouping and staging another attack on the Capitol. So, so you, haven't, you haven't seen anything that... Uh, that would give us a threat assessment now that we have a concern that we need to have the National Guard presence. It doesn't mean there's not some, but you haven't seen anything. No, sir. I, I've been uh, d really um, not in that environment since the 8th. Okay. Anybody else that's, that's uh, any of the others that are here to testify, do you, have any, uh, do you have any threat assessment you've seen that there's a reason that we have the National Guard here today? Is that, an, does everybody, is that a no from everybody? No one has any, re, any idea why we have the National Guard here? Uh, this is Chief Conte. Yeah, uh, my, my, my guess is in response to all the things that, uh, that have happened, but to your question specifically about uh, specific intelligence, uh, I have not personally seen uh, anything uh, that would suggest that. And are, are, do you, are you involved in the decision at all of why the National Guard's here? No, sir, I am not. And you, they, they would, they've not shared any, any threat assessment with you at all with regard to why the National Guard's here? That has not been uh, shared with me, no. Does that surprise you? Uh, I can't say that I'm, I'm really uh, surprised, uh, quite frankly. We have talked about the, uh, we have talked about, you know, intelligence in terms of, you know, what we expect to see in the city. Uh, there are several uh, law enforcement calls that, uh, that take place between the Metropolitan Police Department and other uh, federal partners. But uh, again, the Capitol uh, Police and that structure there is something that, uh, you know, they're not, they're not um, beholden to the mayor of the District of Columbia or anything like that. So uh, we exchanged the information that we have. But again, I just have not seen anything specifically uh, from them that suggest uh, the fence still being the way that it is now. And I should add also, sir, that, I mean, obviously I think that there needs to be uh, a reimagining of the security posture uh, there. Something certainly uh, should be there, but I'm not exactly sure if the answer to that is razor wire and the deployment uh, that we currently see. And the former Sergeant Arms, you, you don't have any, any reason, no one's given you any You've not seen any information that would suggest that we have a threat, an imminent threat that we need the National Guard here? Uh, uh, I have not. And I have not either. I same resigned on the 7th and have been gone since, so I have no information. Okay. 
So who would be making the decision that the National Guard needs to be here then? And where would the threat assessment come from? Does anybody know? I'd maybe look at the uh, current uh, leadership over at uh, maybe the Capitol Police in conjunction with the current um, Sergeant Arms. Okay, so it would be the, the Capitol, head of Capitol Police and the, the city and the acting Sergeant Arms. Uh, that is correct. They, for, to give you the current information on that. And would they coordinate with uh, the Metropolitan Police? Well, if there was uh, intelligence uh, that would uh, indicate the need for uh, such activity, uh, it would usually be shared with our partner, our local law enforcement, which share our, our perimeter and our borders. And if there was a threat out there, would that be public? Would, would there be some public information that they would put out normally? Uh, again, that all has to do with the nature of the threat, the threat, the classification level of the threat. But again, that would be uh, shared with law enforcement within the District of Columbia through through the joint T, uh, JTTF as well as the uh, executive board for the JTTF. I, I mean, I'm just, I'm just. I'm flabbergasted that, that not that you don't know now, but that there's no public information about why we have all this all these national guards here. I mean, does that surprise you? Uh, it's it's a significant uh, security deployment. Again, I believe it's it's based on the the facts of what they they've seen. You know, hindsight being what it is, uh, it, it's the facts of what it, what occurred on uh, January 6th, this unprecedented uh, insurrection. Yep. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Uh